Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey I'm here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. One, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I know that this only hits a certain part of my audience, and I know a certain part of my audience only watches this, but I think that's fine, and that's honestly the uh, reason- oh, that's a Firo. That's honestly the reason that I, I do this, because I, um, I know that I have part of my audience that just likes Let's Go and doesn't really know what Showdown is or care for Showdown, uh, and I feel like you guys will once I do an introduction to it, but uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, like if it wasn't for you guys watching, I wouldn't be putting this up, even though I know it does worse than my Showdown lives, but I don't, I don't really care. Uh, so we're gonna be hitting up the doubles tier. I'm going to uh, hopefully find us a fun game. I'm trying out some cool things like uh, Fake Out plus Fissure or uh, Blizzard as well. I want to try out Blizzard even though we don't have Hail to make it 100% accurate. But yeah guys, I'll just pause until we find a battle. And if you guys want to check out any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, there's a playlist down below. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so we have a game. Um, uh, not really what I wanted. I wanted to click Blizzard with Lapras, but... <laughs> Uh, with Polyrath resisting Nine Tails and then offensively checking me with Aerodactyl and Raichu and even defensively check like any honestly, Lapras sucks in this game. Hmm. But I still like it as a lead because with Fake Out, uh, basically Lapras can kind of pick up a KO. I think Bulk on Machamp is all right. I'm really weak to Nine Tails though. Uh, I'm very very weak to Nine Tails. I gotta be careful about that. Uh, ideally. Do I want to evolve my evolve? Do I want to mega my um, my Kangaskhan, or do I want to mega my Gyarados? Uh, and I'm leaning more towards Kangaskhan just because obviously Fake Out is stronger, and the fact that Nine Tails will have super effective Dazzling Gleam, and Clefable will have super effective Dazzling Gleam slash Moonblast. Hmm. That is a a crispy. <laughs> right, you. I was thinking about pancakes. That <laughs> okay. Uh. Mm. This is tough. I do think that going out into my uh, Venusaur is fair, and maybe going for the uh. Mm. Mega and Fake Out versus Raichu. Now the reason I'm saying Mega and Fake Out versus Raichu is even though it can Encore, I my. My Kangaskhan will take, I think it'll take one. I think it'll take one superpower from Polyrath. And I don't want him faking out into my Kangaskhan and then, or faking out to Lapras and then superpowering. I, I don't know. This is a tough turn because maybe I should have uh, switched out Kangaskhan and said, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. All right, it goes for Brick Break though. This is fine. I live that. You don't really switch in to uh, on on the Polyrath side to this, so I'm gonna go for the uh, the Leech Seed, and I'm actually gonna throw off a Sucker Punch on that Raichu. That Raichu is a giant threat. I don't think Sucker Punch will knock him out, but I also don't think Polyrath will stay in. I'm really surprised it did. Oof! Being adamant really helped me out there. Okay, so that's amazing because this means that Venusaur basically gets a free turn. Uh, Leech Seed, I'm gonna be faster. I actually managed to land it too, so I get some nice recovery going on. Like, being able to Leech Seed entire teams is nice. Uh, I'm assuming he just knocks out Kangaskhan. Yep. So, I mean, good and bad. Uh, because right now he can obviously go out into his Aerodactyl. However, the Polyrath side, with it being Leech Seed, it's kind of on that timer. And I think the combination of uh, Gyarados... Gyarados plus... Uh, Gyarados plus Venusaur really just says no, don't do anything. I'm surprised you woke up Fable there because I'm also pretty sure that Sludge Bomb into Waterfall will be able to knock you out. And with again, with that Leech Seed on the Polyrath, I'm good. So I'm good with my Kangaskhan being traded at this point. Uh, especially because I basically just double attack into the Kaflable. I'm not as worried about Polyrath. Ice Beam won't do that much. The Venusaur, I have recovery. In fact, Polyrath may just switch. The worst case for me would be like Clefable going for Protect here. But otherwise, I think I'm going to do a ton. Yeah, because this into Waterfall is easily going to be able to knock out Clef. Alright, so that opens up a nice door for my Machamp. Kind of? Because the dude still has both Aerodactyl as well as, what is this, Hypnosis maybe? Ice Punch, okay. Good chunk, good chunk, not going to lie. But that Leashy Recovery really going to come in handy, especially with Protect as well. I'm still glad that Raichu's gone. Uh, because Gyarados is still a massive threat to my opponent. Uh, obviously, if they go out to a low Nine Tails now, it'd be a little bit scarier, I feel, but manageable. And the fact that Polyrath is on that timer, I'm okay with. Because I feel like here, I just go for Protect. Protect allows me to dodge, like, the Ice Beam coming out from Venusaur. And, uh, or, or onto Venusaur, rather. 
and I waterfall into the nine tail slot because I'm not as worried again about Polyrath at all with it being on a timer. We could probably see Polyrath switching at this point, I feel, or he may end up double attacking into Venusaur because Ice Beam plus Ice Punch would be able to knock out Venusaur, which is why I think that Protect is fair. Not only do I get some nice recovery, but I avoid the, uh, the Ice Beam and the Ice Punch. And I get some nice waterfall off too. Oh, this is great. Uh, I break back into my Gyarados. Now, see that play would make sense if I mega but because I mega evolve Kangaskhan, uh, I can't mega evolve Gyarados either. So I want to see how I want to do this because I, I want to save Venusaur. Venusaur can Leech Seed Muck. I'm actually going to go out to Lapras because I feel like Lapras just tanks every hit. Uh, and I'm going to go for the the Waterfall again on the Ninetales. I think Ninetales offensively is scary. Uh, Venusaur can just Leech Seed everything that my opponent has, may, potentially Muck. I don't think, unless they have Fly on Aerodactyl, and even then I obviously have Protect for that. So an Ice Beam coming out on Ninetales won't matter. Uh, obviously I can't be frozen. Ice Punch won't matter either. And just getting rid of that Ninetales is really, really worth it. Go ahead and give me that. Nice. Alright, so Venusaur is looking good. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm pressed to like recover everything. Oh, Brick Break again in the Gyarados? Oh, into my Ninetales. So that made sense too, because let's say Ice Beam actually did end up knocking out Venusaur, which I don't think it did. But if it did, the Brick Break would go out to Gyarados anyway. So that was a good just all around, I think, covering play. And now I can bring out Aerodactyl and Rock Slide. Ah, that's going to be annoying. Goes out to Muck though. Over Aerodactyl, really? Interesting. I mean, I know Aerodactyl's threatening in the late game, but I feel like I just protect now with my uh, Lapras and I go for Earthquake. It's not going to knock out either of them, but at least my Lapras isn't hit by the Earthquake and I'll do a little bit of damage. Plus I have, I still have that recovery on Leech Seed, so... I feel like Aerodactyl should have came out, unless he wasn't confident in Earthquake. Well, actually Rock Slide does not knock, no, there's no way Spread Move Rock Slide knocks out uh, Gyarados, so he probably wants to weaken my, uh, my Mon first. With Brick, oh, okay. Or maybe with Muck. That makes sense, yeah. You want to weaken my Gyarados with Muck's uh, Rock Slide because uh, Aerodactyl's Rock Slide, because it's a spread move, would not have knocked me out. Is that a crit on Gyarados? Yeah. I knew it. That's way too much damage to be anything other than a crit. Nice. Nice recovery. I'll recover all that. So I believe what I'll do here is I'll... Um, mm, I don't have an, an EQ resist... I'm gonna click Blizzard, because why not? <laughs> Just in case he decides to go out to Aerodactyl on the uh, on the Earthquake that I'm going for now, which should knock out Polyrath. And I believe Earthquake will knock out both of them anyway. So at this point, because my Machamp is in the back plus Venusaur, again, if that if his Aerodactyl does end up having uh, Rock Slide plus Fly, which would be problematic, that's something that could beat me, uh, because I have the combination of the two that I do have, uh, one of them can always protect and the other one can always like rock slide into the Aerodactyl, but I'm, I'm not like even though I'm up 4-1 four, four essentially Or is it 5-1? Even though I'm up 5-1, I can still lose this game. I'm gonna click Blizzard here because why not? I haven't used it at all and I'll click Waterfall Like I mean my opponent can still rock slide me out. That's the thing. Especially because Mega Aerodactyl is not only strong But bulky and both of my Pokemon are in range of rock slide. Of course, rocks I can't miss though. Yep, there it is. Connects. Both of my mons go down. Okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and help myself out by going Dugtrio because my Dugtrio does have Toxic, and I have Leech Seed from Venusaur. So by getting off the Toxic plus the Leech Seed, um. And then going for Protect next turn with both of my Pokemon, I basically ensure that Machamp can come out with something next to it and guarantee me win me the game. Because again, if Aerodactyl does end up having Fly, it's a two-turn move, I have Protect anyway. Wing Attack would be a little bit annoying though. But I'd be able to sub at least. So I'm going to go for Toxic. Because they can't go for Rock Slide. They can go for potentially Wing Attack. Yeah, Earthquake also makes sense. If you want to hit both. That won't be able to knock out Dugtrio though. Only because it's a spread move, it doesn't knock out Dugtrio. Ooh, we managed to land as well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so best case scenario for me, I land both my Toxic and my Leech Seed. 
You know what's funny? In, in actual Gen 1, there was this, uh, this glitch that if you went for Leech Seed plus Toxic, both of them would stack every turn. So I'm going to be able to go for the uh, Protect right here with both my Pokemon, uh, getting off not only the Toxic damage, but the Leech Seed. And again, this is good because if he does have Wing Attack, let's say he goes for Earthquake here and knocks me out, uh, the less Pokemon I have, the most likely he can actually beat me. Like, he has potential to beat me, so... I'll protect right now. Big Dougie, appreciate you. I'm glad it has animations for both of them. <laughs> nice! And at this point, um, I guess my opponent kind of has to try and rock slide flinch me now because Venusaur is not going to die. Or if he does have wing attack, he has to go for it and target directly into my um, directly into my Venusaur. So what I'm actually going to do is just Mega Drain here and go for Substitute with Dug Trio just in case he does reveal the uh, the random wing attack. A Dug Trio is going to die to Earthquake anyway. And again, if he does go for that Earthquake, it's not going to knock out Venusaur. And the Mega Drain plus Leech Seed plus Poison should be able to finish off uh, Aerodactyl. And that should be it. That should be getting it right now. And plus, I got a full HP Machamp. So, again, like we're trying to play the odds. Like We don't know what my opponent has, per se. So, we want to make sure that we covered at least at this, at least this endgame. Because this was something I was always fearing from the beginning. Uh, especially with Kangaskhan going down and not having Fake Out support anymore. Uh, Aerodactyl is definitely something that could threaten me. So we end up winning game one and uh, yeah, guys, I will be right back with game two. So I'm gonna try this out because I feel like it's impossible for me to avoid every single Mewtwo out there. So I'm gonna try uh, like a Kangaskhan type of uh, Dug Trio thing and see how that works. Maybe I can get like a, a Fissure off on the Mewtwo. Though, real talk, Lapras plus Kangaskhan is fantastic because Fake Out plus Blizzard is kind of free versus my opponent's team now that I think about it. Pitch is also something I want to try out in doubles as well because I feel like Fake Out plus, you know, Swords Dance and then plus two Rock Slide honestly just KOs everything even though it's spread damage because you obviously have the other Pokemon next to you too. So that's something I want to try out. Maybe Fake Out plus, um, plus that. See how it ends up going. I wonder if, like typically like I said, I, or a few times, I've said this a bunch of times, but sometimes I do skip over the, the Mewtwo games because I'm like, oh, okay, I don't really want to play a Mewtwo. Uh, <laughs> that mod has an unfair advantage versus everything. But at the same time, I don't know, sometimes I, I just feel like, it, especially after we got you know, a game one, might as well try it for a game two. Play my boy Goku though. About to go what, Ultra Instinct on me or whatever it is. I see how this ends up going though. I, I do like fake out support plus um, my friends. Uh, do I want to Mega Evolve though my Kangaskhan or my Gyarados? Because Mega Gyarados will help me beat Mewtwo and leads off of Mewtwo. Mewtwo plus Dragonite, that's not too bad. Uh, because I have Lapras, obviously. We're gonna go for the fake out plus Blizzard. Do I want to Mega Evolve you or do I want to Mega Evolve my Gyarados? I, I still feel like Kangaskhan's better. And I want the chip, I want the extra damage that Fake Out's gonna do. Cause I feel like if it's Mega Mewtwo Y, Fake Out into Sucker Punch into Blizzard uh, will knock it out. I, I could be a little bit wrong, but yeah, he does choose to Mega Evolve. That means that his Charizard in the back is not gonna be Mega. It is Y as well, which means it has worse physical defense. So I'll get my Fake Out off right now. And the fact that I'm adamant is gonna come into play here too, cause this is gonna do a lot. Now, Blizzard does only have a 70% chance to, uh, to hit, <laughs> to miss, <laughs> imagine. Um, no, nah, I 30% chance to miss. But yeah, like, if I get this Blizzard off, Outrage is also... My opponent can't control which one that hits. Ends up, unfortunately, being Lapras. Come on. Hey, Lapras lands Blizzard on both of them. Not even bad. So Dragonite immediately dealt with. That's amazing for Venusaur, amazing for Gyarados. So immediately dealt with. And I got the extra damage on the Mewtwo as well. I don't think I could have asked for a better turn. Uh, Pikachu coming out makes a lot of sense. What I want to do here is just Sucker Punch into the Mewtwo and uh, switch out my Lapras and go Dug Trio. I feel like that works. Uh, I think that a Zippy Zap is definitely coming out or a Thunderbolt onto the Lapras slot and then maybe Mewtwo will go for Psychic or something. 
Uh, let's see if Adamant Sucker Punch into Modest Blizzard from Lapras, or Quiet Nature's Blizzard from Lapras, into uh, that Blizzard was enough, like, into this Sucker Punch is enough. And it is, yeah. So again, because they ended up being Mega Mewtwo Y and not Mega Mewtwo X, their physical defense was lowered. So Adamant Fake Out definitely made a difference there. Adamant Sucker Punch, and of course hitting the Blizzard. So Mewtwo and Dragonite, done. Done, absolutely done. Hmm. I'm gonna facade into Charizard. And I'm gonna go for Substitute. Now the reason I'm going for Substitute is because I don't know if it's gonna go for Splishy Splash. And I wanna see, does the way that works is, is it, does it hit? Okay, it does hit both of my Mons too. Which I, I figured. Um, but I wanted to know if it hit Charizard as well because Surf hits uh, your Pokemon as well. But yeah, I also went for facade because you know, it, it's my best play depending on what he ends up going for. And he goes for Outrage again. So this is definitely Megazard X. Unfortunately, it gets my substitute from uh, Duxrio. Uh, Wolf Asad once again into that uh, Charizard slot. Charizard being one of the main things that can actually deal with my Venusaur. And I guess I'll go for Fissure. I thought the Fissure would be really cool with, uh, with Fake Out, but I mean, not only do I have to win a Speed Tie here, which I do, I have to connect. There's a Splishy Splash. That's fine. Dougie goes down. I haven't gotten any damage off on Pikachu. But I'm not really as worried about it. I don't know. That's a Pikachu. And I have a, a Venusaur in the back, so... Plus, again, with Charizard gone, my Venusaur, everything's looking a little bit more threatening. No Mewtwo either. Oof. So I believe at that's, this point, we just go out to Venusaur. Because Venusaur plus... Um, Venusaur plus Kangaskhan should be able to do it. Uh, with Charizard gone, with Dragonite gone, there's not a lot that threatens this mo a Pokemon, so... There's Venusaur, Nintendo is who? Pinsir, oh gosh. I said there's not a lot of threatens the Pokemon, but that is definitely one that threatens it. So I have to be careful because I might just lose to Pikachu if I keep attacking into the Pinsir slot. But the good thing is because it's not Mega Pinsir, it's manageable. Because it's not Mega Pinsir, it's manageable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna facade into Pikachu, uh, cause it might go for Floaty Fall into Venusaur, and I'm gonna Sludge Bomb into the Pinsir. Again, if that was Mega Pinsir, it might be a little bit more of a threat because it outspeeds Kangaskhan. But at this point, it does not outspeed Kangaskhan, so I should be able to get off of the side. And Pikachu might have to make the call if it wants to uh, attack into Kangaskhan or if it wants to attack into my um, my Venusaur. Uh, and again, if it has like Floaty Fall, yeah, he does choose to attack into uh, the Venusaur. Bro, Floaty Fall looks... Oh, attacks into Kangaskhan, trying to flinch me. So maybe Pinsir could set up, I get that. A Adamant unfortunately misses out. My opponent is not a plus speed nature on their Pinsir, so we're able to get off a nice little sludge bomb there. Ooh, ooh, misses the guillotine. Misses the guillotine. I'll just go for Earthquake here. Because our Earthquake plus uh, Sucker Punch should be able to knock him out, and I don't want them to hit a guillot. Ah, they can't. So, what is his last again? Let me check it out. It's Voplum. Okay. So what I don't want is losing... So, so... I don't want my opponent to go for Floaty Fall and Venusaur. Venusaur gets flinched. No, 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 no. The, the play that covers that is just facading into Pinsir. Yeah, yeah, that covers that. I facade into Pinsir, and I Sludge Bomb into Pinsir. Uh, and basically, if, if they goes for Floaty Fall and flinches my Venusaur, at least I have Facade coming out from Chaos Skull. He can't flinch both of them. Because I don't want to lose my Venusaur to a Guillotine actually landing to like a floaty fall flinch on Venusaur, so Venusaur cannot get off a Sludge Bomb of Pinsir, and then have that Vileplume in the back be a problem. Because Leech Seed Vileplume could beat my Machamp, and it could beat my Gyarados. So I don't want that being a problem. And this is the same situation as the last game, where even though I'm up in Pokemon, my opponent's last Pokemon could potentially beat me. My boy was falling asleep back there. You alright, bro? I get it. My opponent's taking a little bit longer to pick their moves. No big deal. Oh, they end up forfeiting. I guess with the poison, they they felt like they didn't really have a chance. That was still a fun one. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Leaving a like actually really does help my channel out. Uh, you guys can check out the playlist down below if you want to see any of my other doubles battles or singles battles. I've done, I think, over 100 at this point. Um, and we're still going strong, so... Hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.